All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and more important than the argument of is Oryx in the front or the back is what weapon does the absolute most damage to Oryx? What is the most efficient weapon to use when trying to kill Oryx? What is the meta in PvE for the boss encounter? And thankfully here on YouTube, we have a variety of different content creators that like to weigh in on this topic, as I myself love to do. I love to talk about the meta and the sandbox and everything, and nothing but respect to both these content creators. We're going to go review both of their videos a little bit here. We have Rick Kakis with Best Weapons to Kill Oryx Fast, King's Fall Raid, Destiny 2, and then just recently, Era had a video which isn't specific to killing Oryx necessarily, but it was basically comparing all of the linear fusion rifles, which one is the best one. Because, you know, spoiler, linear fusions are going to be the best for damaging Oryx. Now let's go ahead and dive in a little bit further. We have Rick Hackis coming up with a nice little infographic here where him and each of his fire team members all shot Oryx with a different linear fusion. So you can see here you've got Reed's Regret 1.2, you've got the Taipan 1.3, you've got Storm Chaser 1.2, you have the Sleeper Simulant 1.1, you have Cataclysmic at 1 million, and then you have the 1,000 voices at 640,000. Now, the only important part to take from this is that this was kind of a loose test. This was not very precise. And so uh, you can see here in a few other screenshots from his video that he's got uh, a variety of different teammates that are different levels. You can see some people are 67 on the artifact, some people are 20 on the artifact. So you're going to do more or less damage based on uh, how high your weapon is infused up to. Some of them had their weapons at 1560, some at 1571, etc. And so you're going to see a variety of different test numbers. And obviously this is, you know, if someone misses a shot or someone hits a thrall that jumps in front of them, it's going to change quite a bit but uh rick Kakis's conclusion was basically that uh taipan was number one and then reeds and then storm chaser and then cataclysmic roughly in that order more or less and then we'll go on to the next part we'll also talk about uh the cataclysmic should definitely not be ranked quite as low as he did in his video in my opinion we'll talk a little bit about this with errors video as well um the person that was using cataclysmic on his team you can see his uh, kinetic weapon was also succession so it's very important if you're going to use the bait and switch god real cataclysmic that you're going to have to use izanagi's burden or a wither horde so that way you get the most optimal damage output if you don't then yes you will get damage numbers more like this when you use cataclysmic but if you use the izzy then the swap speed from using your kinetic your energy and then your power weapon that wasted two seconds there won't be so wasted because a times four izzy shot is extremely powerful and that's where we fast forward to errors video today that came out he has Sail Spy versus Storm Chaser versus Taipan and all the other linear fusion rifles. He does a bunch of very precise tests. Uh, he's very meticulous about the way he tests things. And the numbers that he came up with were this. This is the Storm Chaser, Firing Line DPS, and this is Cataclysmic. And he has a variety of other test numbers that we can bring together. But basically, the final boss, the real uh, god roll, the real meta linear fusion is Cataclysmic, as long as, with an asterisk, as long as you are using Izanagi's Burden or a Wither Horde. That is the best combination you could possibly use for damage on Oryx. So I wanted to bring you this video because I watched both of those videos from them and I thought it was pretty interesting and I paid uh, close attention to all the different details and I want to bring you the real charts here if you're trying to uh, kill Oryx as fast as possible. Number one is going to be Cataclysmic. Of course, with a little asterisk, you got to use Izzy, you got to use Wither Horde, something like that, and swap pretty fast, of course. And of course, you're going to have the, the God Roll crafted perfectly as well and obviously boss spec on that. Second would be Storm Chaser in terms of DPS to Oryx. And third would be the Reed's Regret and the Taipan. And I don't know why, but I see a lot of people saying something about the Taipan being better than the Reed's Regret, which is really silly to me because they are literally the same weapon. The only difference is one is Stasis and one is Void. If you have a God Roll of the Reed's Regret, it is exactly uh, perk for perk the same weapon as the God Roll of the Taipan. Uh, the only difference would be just a little bit of crafted, uh, the enhanced versions of those crafted perks, but that doesn't actually add any more value to the weapon. So those two are the same in terms of their damage output and their power, and that's one, two, and three in terms of the meta for damaging Oryx. So if you're out there trying to beat Oryx, or if you're getting ready for Master to come out whenever that does come out later in a month from now, right? Uh, this is the meta currently. Let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree to anything that I've said, and make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.